Um, did you cross paths with him? And if so, uh, what were your impressions of the guy? What are your memories of him? Yeah, Ducky, um, unreal guy, played one in the Canada Cup, um, spent a lot of time with him there. Um, I, I, you know, a lot, you lose touch with uh, a lot of players uh, over the years, but um, terrific guy, terrific hockey player. Just, um, it's a sad day. Feels so, so horrible for his family. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's just a sad day for him, everybody. Sorry to ask you about hockey on a day like this, That's but okay. um, just uh, what what is uh, I guess the morning after look like for you guys? How are you approaching this now, and what what's the mindset I guess of the team right now? Yeah, what I said to you guys the other night, everybody's been embarrassed. I don't care who you are in your your life, in anything, um, especially in the sports world. Um, it's how you bounce back. It's how you um, you, you make a stand. Uh, you know, you look for players to not to hide. Um, you know, we're looking for a lot of those characteristics come out uh, tomorrow. Um, we knew it was going to be a huge challenge, uh, but we have to give ourselves a fighting chance. And obviously, you know, the penalties we took were, were very undisciplined. Uh, we we're pinching. We're doing stuff that's Eric uncorrected of our team because we know who we are. We have to play a certain way to be successful. And, and we saw a lot of chinks in the armor in that game. And uh, we need some guys to to just, you know, reboot it and, and, and come back with a battle and a will to, to, to win that game uh, tomorrow. That's really what you can do. Yeah. Last thing from me, just, uh, just checking in on a couple of players. Do we know anything more on Connor Garland or even Nick Schmaltz at this point? Uh, Connor didn't practice today. He, I'm not sure about him tomorrow. Uh, same thing with Schmaltz. Okay. Thanks, Rick. Yeah. We're going next to Alex Kinkoff with Coyotes.com. Go ahead, Alex. Hey, Rick, um, interested in your perspective, just with your experience, um, elimination games, playing in them, coaching in them, the approach, the challenge, how you handle it, how you go into it. What's, what's the uh, recipe for you? Well, you can't go in hyper and you can't go in nervous um, and you can't win the game in their first shift. Uh, you know, you can't, you know, I find when you get, especially after an embarrass, uh, embarrassing loss or, or, or an elimination game, people start to run around and uh, they start doing uncorrected things. You know, you start, you know, start trying to hit people when they're not there. Like, obviously we got to get tougher. We got to be tougher in front of our net and their net and we have to be disciplined, but we got to make sure we don't run around. That's kind of the message is to be able to, to know and trust your instincts, but also trust your system. And one follow-up for me, just, uh, question that I've asked you time, time and time again, just the summary of what the team went through today uh, meeting. I, I know you mentioned there was a practice. Was it optional? Was it full? Just the rundown of the team today. Yeah, we said a 20 minute skate just to, you know, loosen the guys up, get a sweat, work on a couple of things uh, we've been talking about against Colorado. We got to start to, you know, we got, we need people to start to understand some of the stuff that they're doing and we need people to, to understand when those plays are happening, where they have to be in those spots. And um, we worked on those today. Thank you, Rick. Go next to Tressa Rosnick with 3TV CBS5. Go ahead, Tressa. Hey, Coach, thanks for your time. I'm just curious if during today at all, were there any players in particular that you saw kind of chirping up and really speaking on behalf of this team, trying to get everybody? I don't know if there's a sense of rallying at this point or really stressing the importance, maybe some of your veterans. Yeah, I always felt, and, you know, I was looking at some players, like when you really come out these day after uh, games like that in practice, you're really looking for guys to really lead just the way they they act on the ice, the way they practice, the way they act when they get off the bus. You know, you got to, you know, you got to have your chest out high. Uh, you got to, you got to go in this situation uh, that you want to be counted on. Um, that's what leaders do, you know, uh, you know, we didn't need anybody down in the dumps and practice. We don't need people hanging their heads and the poor as me type of uh, player. We're looking for guys who are going to step up um, and then let the chips fall where they may. That's, that, you know, that old cliche, but it's true. And that's what we're looking for tomorrow. Coach, uh, my final question is kind of just talking about how critical I feel like this it is for this team to have a, a quick start. When you get that first goal, it really yeah. kind of sets the momentum for your team. Were you stressing that at all today or just in general? Well, it's, we've been stressed that all the time is, you know, try to, especially early, you, know, you don't never want to make mistakes unless they're aggressive mistakes, but the mistakes, you know, whether it's a hooking or a holding early in the game or, you know, not reading the, uh, you know, the speed through the neutral zone quick enough, 
um, whether, you know, not pressing when, you know, you got to press as five. If three guys press and two guys don't, you're going to have, uh, you're going to have some mistakes. And I think we need five man mentality. Um, you know, we're a team that, and I said to you guys for the playoffs, you know, we can't have three or four or five guys be passengers. We need everybody to, to at least be neutral. Um, some guys to be neutral uh, for us to have a chance. And, um, you know, we just, the other day, I mean, we had, I don't think we had a guy that had a, a good game, you know, um, other than the fact that Darcy was there again for us and I wanted to give him a break. We'll go next to Cam Cox with NBC 12. Go ahead, go ahead, Cam. Sorry. Hey, coach, just curious. Do you sleep well after a night like that? I mean, how do you, do you, do you get the chance to relax at all and kind of decompress after a game like that? And then, Second, you know, you've talked about that before, getting all five guys on the same page. I mean, how do you do that this late in a season with so much on the line? Well, I mean, listen, we've done it in the past. I mean, you know, last, you know, a lot of guys have been here the last two, three years. We, we've, you know, we've made some strides here. You know, we're chipping away. You know, uh, we got to do it more consistently, obviously. Um, you know, you're obviously playing a team that's highly skilled and very strong. And, uh, that's why the team details uh, has to be consistent. You know, it's easy to do it once in a while, but it's hard to do it every day. And that's really the message. Um, and do I sleep? Win or lie? I usually get my six, six and a half, whether I win or lose. It's, it's, it's the same. 